welcome to a new uh, video regarding uh, TBS uh, um, uh, gear, TBS uh, hardware and TBS software. For uh, today, uh, this is actually a, uh, a uh, part 3 of the TBS 2925-2. Uh, it's the um, MOI um, very light version, the ARM version of the um, TBS hardware. So uh, we're gonna have a, a little video we're gonna show off and show you in this video uh, a lot of um, information about um, running on an uh, ARM device uh, Kyloon. On top of Kyloon uh, I have a couple of surprises because I managed to get the system uh, installed and uh, on top of Kyloon we also have the Home Assistant software. So um, this video it's mainly dedicated for uh, passionate people who wants to make a uh, combination of uh, small streaming server with uh, control of the smart home and smart devices from uh, from inside the home so very firstly i'm gonna start with the um, uh, description first i'm gonna show you that uh, we are running uh, kylon enterprise edition version 3.3.0 built from uh, 24 march 2023 uh, also, I have to show you that we are uh, having a CentOS Core 7.9 with the Linux uh, kernel of uh, 5.10 uh, V7L GNU Linux. So, obviously, we have a ARM board, an ARM CPU. Uh, there is uh, around... Um, uh, couple of uh, things which I have to mention. Uh, the storage is 32 GB uh, gigabyte. Uh, the CPU is a quad-core ARM CPU. Uh, it can perform also uh, on uh, Arch 64-bit architecture, but uh, we uh, prefer, rather prefer to use the uh, Arch um, uh, normal so as you as you saw here in description the Arch V7L meaning the 32-bit uh, uh, embedded uh, Linux uh, based on CentOS core well um, first of all uh, we have installed inside the as you saw in the previous video we have uh, some tuner installed uh, I'm gonna show you right now the tuner card uh, which is installed is a dual tuner, it's the latest uh, tuner uh, from TBS uh, TBS 6281SA, second edition, which is a dual tuner terrestrial uh, um, cable and uh, terrestrial tool and uh, the light version with dual tuner, very useful for uh, such task. Uh, Otherwise, uh, we have the regular uh, Kylone environment. We have some information about the CPU usage, uh, CPU temperature, the storage, and of course the uh, LAN, local area network. So um, we have installed the tuner. Uh, it is set on the DVBC on cable connection. Uh, though the uh, the card is capable of terrestrial to terrestrial, and I told you cable. So we have set a couple of transponders frequencies right here. It's very simple with new record. Uh, you create a new transponder, put some name, select the protocol uh, CT or uh, S2 or I don't know, ATSC, QAMB, which is the latest one. Uh, here you can put the frequency, frequency and of course we have something like this. Uh, actually, it's uh, the uh, provider name the protocol, the frequency, the symbol rate, the modulation, front num front end number, and so on. Uh, we are using a scan scan button if you if you want to scan. But the scan already was performed, so all you have to do is here is just press scan. Uh, I, I won't press scan mostly because uh, the scan now oh, something is going to happen. I think it's uh, stopped. Let me see what's going on. Yeah, um, maybe some bug because uh, the code is, as I told you, is the latest one. So if the tuners are already assigned in the in the live streams and connected with a frequency, you cannot perform scan. Uh, 
basically. Uh, to be able to scan, you have to free up one of the tuners uh, because the, right now they are connected. If we check here in live stream, we can see one tuner is uh, assigned to frequency 450 and the other uh, to frequency 414 uh, uh, four and 450. Uh, in this particular example, you can see here, uh, these are uh, free to air. Uh, on the cable uh, transmission and here you can see also a uh, uh, encrypted channel uh, such as Cinemax 2. To be able to decrypt of course you need uh, a uh, CI capable tuner, PCI Express tuner with CI slot and a CAM module from the operator with a paid subscription you just add it and uh, uh, you can set it right here if you want to use it. Okay, uh, pretty much the system is smooth right now. Uh, two tuner, uh, uh, dual tuner card is installed. Um, it's already running some uh, some streams. But if we want to run some uh, test streams, we can go here and select uh, the URL, and we can take, for example, I don't know, some uh, free-to-air channel. Let's see uh, uh, this one, for example, Aleph News copy and we're gonna paste it into the VLC like this open network channel and the playback it's done automatically so this is Alex news uh, it's a local uh, free to air uh, news channel something okay as you can see it's playing out of the box without any problems um, here you can see the client is connecting well what I have did, uh, being an ARM uh, uh, in, uh, architecture, I was thinking that uh, it's very possible, it's possible to use some uh, uh, other uh, software on top of uh, the existing one. So pretty much this is with, with uh, Kylon light version, you can uh, select uh, uh, some uh, frequencies, some uh, uh, transponders, assign them to the tuners and get the streams with uh, a VLC or uh, I don't know some URL uh, uh, playlist. Now the other stuff which I have done on the PCI Express um, uh, is is a tuner as I as I told you. But uh, on since the uh, appliance has some USB ports, I have added on the USB port some. Uh, uh, Zigbee dongle, which Zigbee dongle is the son of, let me show you, uh, son of uh, Zigbee, Zigbee dongle, very cheap, 10, 5, 10 dollars, something like this, yeah, there is uh, one uh, a little bit more expensive, and this one from here uh, is, is the cheap one, it's something like maybe up to uh, 7 dollars or something, yeah, uh, once this um, son of a dongle added the next thing which I did I have um, I have uh, installed the um, famous uh, uh, home assistant uh, management software so uh, home assistant uh, it allows me to be installed on top of uh, Kylon I mean together with Kylon on CentOS operating system on the ARM board and uh, I have uh, as uh, devices here, you're gonna see uh, we have uh, a bunch of devices connected. So uh, my uh, smart TV is from my home, uh, um, the Zigbee dongle, which is right here and have five devices, five, 24 entities connected. Yeah, uh, some uh, Sonos um, uh, sensors uh, such as um, uh, uh, movement sensors, temperature sensors, humidity sensors, and all this uh, interesting stuff. You, you can see them here. Some uh, power relay to measure the power and uh, to uh, be able to see the the power of the um, of consumption and uh, such things. Also, I have installed a um, uh, internet printing, yeah, uh, network printing. I have installed a pie hole for uh, filtering uh, ads uh, and watching uh, ads free um, browsers and use in my network the ads free uh, content from uh, from the internet. Also I 
installed the Apple TV, I installed my Plex, uh, um, I can see, I can control my air conditioner, uh, for example, temperatures and everything from, uh, mostly everything is from, uh, from inside my home. There are a bunch of sensors, uh, they are uh, connected, uh, some EveLink um, sensors for, um, how it's called, for temperatures, some uh, EveLink sensors uh, from Sonoff for uh, opening, closing the door and so on. Uh, of course I could add, even if I want to add, I can add um, um, the direct TV head end if I don't want to purchase or use Kylone. I can use directly TV head end which is uh, very easy to find. Uh, you can add the integration and look somewhere here in, in their stores and you can get the, uh, the TV head end or in the add-ons area and you can have the TV head and deployed something like this. I'm gonna show you. It, it is here, right here. Yeah. So it's, it's pretty much fancy. And you, if you want to pack your uh, home IoT together with uh, some uh, streaming server, this uh, uh, device TBS um, two nine two five dash two. Uh, it's one of the best solution to do that for home appliance and use it as a, a home control and management of the smart home. This is just one type of application which uh, enthusiastic people and uh, skilled people can uh, test and have a look and enjoy it. This is it for today. Um, I'm gonna prepare also the next video. In the next video we're gonna play a little bit more with uh, uh, with uh, these uh, arm devices from TBS because they look handy, they are not so expensive, they are cheap and very useful if uh, you want to make use, expand the use of them and uh, make more than just streaming with them. Thank you very much. See